The Wing Nuts finally back home after completing a perfect stint on the road, and tonight they welcomed Grand Prairie to Lawrence Dumont, and things would get heated. Jose Perez on the mound for the Nuts, and uh-oh, the Air Hogs. Brian Myro with the solo home run to pull the Hogs within one. 5-4 the score in the top of the fourth, and things getting interesting now. David Peralta at the plate, avoiding the ball. He doesn't like the call and walks away. The umpire instructs the Hogs pitcher to throw it anyways, and Kevin Hooper not happy about it. He gets all up in the ump's face, and Blue tosses Hooper and the Nets' first base coach. Lots of drama, bottom of the ninth now, and we're all tied up at five. Ryan Corey at the plate. Corey hits the sack fly. Peralta scores from third. And the Nuts grab their ninth straight win tonight at Lawrence Dumont. 6-5 the final. And Coach Hooper a little happier after the game. Yeah, pretty special. You know, I know we did it in 09. They're saying we won nine in a row. But that's a long streak. You know, that's, that takes some... Uh, it takes some playing some pretty good ball, especially when you go on the road for six in the middle of it. You know, that's hard to do. So, awful proud of the group. These same two teams play again tomorrow. Well, the Royals came in tonight feeling pretty good about themselves after a solid 5-4 and four road trip. Their opponent, the Oakland A's, on the other hand, coming at Kaufman on a nine-game losing streak. And Casey wasting no time putting some runs at bottom of the first. Yuneski Betancourt's first game back from the disabled list. He hits the double, and that scores Alex Gordon. Royals take the 1-0 lead. Then it's Moustakis. He hits the blooper to right field, and KC takes the 2-0 lead, and the Royals win this one in front of a home crowd. 2-0 the final. Well, not at Bush Stadium, where a little history was made tonight. The Mets have never thrown a no-hitter, encompassing 8,019 regular season games, but Johan Santana becomes the first Met to ever do it. He throws a no-hitter tonight against the reigning World Series champ cards in St. Louis, and the Mets go on to win this one 8-0. Well, the Big 12 men's basketball tournament will remain in Kansas City through 2016. The conference announced today that a two-year extension has been added to its deal with the Sprint Center, which has hosted the event the past three years. And by all accounts, the incoming commission pleased with the decision to stay in KC. Uh, we are very excited about uh, hosting and featuring this tournament in the Kansas City area. The Sprint Center is a, a great venue. Uh, the history of the uh, tournament and the history of the league in this area obviously is rich and uh, and we're very excited about extending and enhancing the relationship with Kansas City. The big news heading into today at Memorial, the withdrawal of Phil Mickelson after he shot a 7 over 79 in yesterday's first round, but lefty no longer the headline. It's Tiger Woods after day two. Scott Stallings, the sole leader of the group at the start of the day, but the Tiger didn't waste much time getting into the mix. Here he is, his third shot on par four. He drains the putt and moves into a share of the lead with Stallings at five under. This is Wood's final tune-up before the U.S. Open. All right, Mary Rachel, thanks so much. When we come back, we meet a World War II veteran who is just now receiving his high school diploma. Stay with us.